wonderful learners, this is Mrs. Oluyemisi Walishuge coming your way this time to teach the topic homophones, meaningful usage, and a guide to rhymes. In English language, uh, for which I feel so excited to be your teacher. Please make up your minds to learn something new today with God helping us. Homophones are a set of words in grammar that are pronounced same way, that is having same sound, uh, but have different meanings and spellings. Sincerely, I have read sentences where G-R-E-A-T-F-U-L, uh, which doesn't exist in English language, was used in place of G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L, meant to be grateful, that is to be thankful, hence the need for uh, this topic. Now listen, B-I-G-H-T, B-I-T-E, the both realized as bite. A-R-M-S and A-L-M-S are both realized as arms. Homophones are, however, different from homographs, which uh, give same spellings but different pronunciations and meanings to a set of given words. Uh, example, bow and bow are two different words, but they're spelled same way as B-O-W. Let's uh, proceed to taking the lesson objectives. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to do the following activities. One, explain homophones. Uh, two, use them as rhymes. And three, answer questions that may be drawn on the topic. Words are commonly used for several purposes, and this, of course, would determine what parts of speech to be adapted for usage since they primarily function differently. The inappropriate usage of homophones occasioned by rank spellings can warrant confusion or rank meanings. Let's consider the following set of words as homophones with giving uh, examples in sentences. One, B-O-R-N-E and B-O-R-N are realized as born. Uh, he has borne the problems of his friends for too long. And Tunde was born 10 years ago. Two, B-I-R-T-H and B-E-R-T-H both are realized as birth. Examples, Mrs. John gave birth to a baby boy. Uh, the sheep caught fire at the birth. Number three, C-A-U-G-H-T and C-O-U-R-T. Both are realized as caught. Stephen caught a large fish. She attended a court session today with her lawyers. Number four, D-E-A-R and D-E-E-R. One, Ibrahim was such of a dear friend. Uh, two, the deer trampled on the snake. Number five, we have G-R-A-T-E, G-R-E-A-T. Both are realized as great examples. I love to grate carrots before eating them. My father was a great man. Uh, we go for a breather now. Until then, stay tuned. Welcome back, great learners. Uh, we proceed to number six of our examples. Here we have C-U-E and Q-U-E-U-E, -U -E, uh, both realized as Jew. 
Jew. The teacher gave us Jew to solving the equation. And people would be made to Jew up to board buses at the BRT terminal. Number seven, E-D-G-E -E and H-E-D-G-E -E are both realized as edge. He worked with an edge to straighten the metal. I love lacy edges on my dresses. Number eight, H-E-A-L and H-E-E-L, both realized as heal. Mr. Obasi prayed to God to heal him of his disease. Biodu used to have a saw on his heels. Number nine, F-O-R-T-H and F-O-U-R-T-H, both realized as fourth. Uh, he went forth into the business without consultations. Um, and he came forth after the uh, tournament. Number 10, H-E-A-R and H-E-R-E, -E, both are realized as here. The students said they couldn't hear the teacher. And the doctor told me to sit here. But going quickly to number 11. Uh, there we have K-N-I-G-H-T and N-I-G-H-T. Both are realized as night. One. Sir William is a knight in the Anglican church. And the second one, some children dread the night. Number 12, we have P-R-A-Y and P-R-E-Y. Both are realized as pray. Uh, we went to pray for safe deliveries of babies. And the second one, the lion gets its prey live. Number 13, P-L-A-I-N and P-L-A-N-E, both realized as plain. Uh, Mrs. Bola said the material was too plain. Uh, the plane will take off in the next 30 minutes. Number 14, we have R. E E D and R E A D both realized as read. Mom puts the sponge on the read. The second example, Ayo can read the whole chapter of the book in less than 10 minutes. Number 15 now. R A I S E and R A Z E both realized as raise. The security officer asked for a raise in his salary and the village was raised to the ground during the inferno. Number 16, M-E-E-T and M-E-A-T both are realized as meat. Tunde went to meet with a doctor to know his health status and dad loved gold meat. We shall continue with the lesson after this short break. Welcome back to the final segment of the lesson today. Number 17, we have P-A-I-N and P-A-N-E, both realized as pain. Everyone hates body pain, and Bio looks through the pain of glass. Under number 18, we have three words. Uh, we have T-O, we have T-O-O, -O, and T-W-O. They are all realized as two. 
Please note, TO is realized as two whenever it precedes um, or, or it precedes uh, a word that starts with a vowel in a sentence. An example, Bimbo went to air the program on TV. But whenever it precedes a word that begins with a consonant, it changes to T, uh, like he went to take a nap. For T-O-O, we have this example. She said she hated eating jam too. For T-W-O, we have, I know the names of only two basketball players. Number 19, we have N-A-Y and N-E-E. -E. That's uh, realized as a nay. The task is difficult, nay, impossible. And she is Shewa Benson, nay, Daudu. For number 20, which is the last of them, we have three words. Uh, we have S-I-G-H-T, S-I-T-E, C-I-T-E, all realized as sight. He recovered his sight after a, a successful surgery. The engineers were told to get back to the site before sunset. And the last one, Victor used my case to cite an example of a successful businessman. As we conclude the lesson, it is pertinent for you to note that the words we have used in this content have been provided in pairs to facilitate word rhymes. You know why? Because they sound alike. You have some exercise to do. Please take down these words. S-T-E-A-K and S-T-A-K-E. -E. That's for one. Then go to two. W-A-I-S-T and W-A-S-T-E. Go to three. Uh, w E E K and W E A K. Go to four. Uh, v A I N and V E I N. And lastly, uh, that would be number five. Take P E E R and P E A R. You are to work with the words. Two. A, pronounce them correctly uh, with the aid of their transcriptions, of course. Uh, B, state the meanings. C, identify their parts of speech. And D, formulate sentences with them. For more knowledge and information, please visit uh, the sites englishforeveryone.org and www really learn english.com till i come your way again sometime please keep working and keep learning thank you for listening bye